We're going to explain how to set up faxing on your Epson EcoTank ET4800 printer. 1. First, make sure your printer is correctly connected to your computer and your power is on. 2. You'll need a phone line. Connect the phone cord from your wall jack to the fax port on the back of your Epson ET4800. This port is usually clearly labeled. 3. Now let's install the necessary software. Insert your printer's CD-ROM into your computer and follow the on-screen instructions. If you don't have the CD, you can usually download the drivers from Epson's website. Just search for Epson ET4800 drivers on your search engine. 4. Once the drivers are installed, open the Epson printer software. You should find a section dedicated to fax settings. The exact location might vary slightly depending on your software version, but look for an option like fax, fax setup, or something similar. 5. Within the fax settings, you'll need to configure several important details. First, you'll need to enter your fax number. This is the number people will dial to send faxes to your printer. 6. Next, you'll often find settings to configure how the printer handles incoming faxes. You might be able to set it to print automatically or to save incoming faxes as files on your computer. Choose the option that works best for your needs. 7. There are often options to adjust fax resolution. Higher resolution means clearer faxes, but it also means larger file sizes and slower transmission times. 8. Now that your fax settings are configured, test your setup. Send a test fax to your own number or a friend's to ensure that everything works correctly. If you face any issue, check the connection cables. Refer to your printer manual. For example, if you're receiving error messages, double check that your phone line is correctly connected. 9. Another possible issue could be firewall settings. Ensure your firewall isn't blocking the Epson fax software. If problems persist, consult the printer's manual or Epson support website. 10. Remember, if you're using a VoIP phone system, you might need special configuration. Your VoIP provider might have specific instructions for using a fax machine with their service. If your printer doesn't automatically detect the fax machine during software installation, you may need to manually select the correct fax model in the Epson printer software. If you still have trouble after following these steps, visit the Epson website or contact Epson support for further assistance.